we got to spend a night in Millen last night, so we had about 50 miles to do this morning. And uh, a little hilly, those of you who have been between, uh, especially Augusta and Waynesboro, a little hilly, but uh, everybody was just so excited about getting here. It's after you do something for a while and you plan and plan and plan. It's just so exciting to finish it. And you, the closer you get, the more exciting and the more fun you have. So and about a year ago, we started to think about doing something. You know, a little, uh, we do some little short races, like for 5Ks and maybe half marathons. And we're talking about doing something a little longer. And one thing kind of led to another, and uh, we came up with a relay. And I was up to have a relay. Let's find something to do it for. This is for all you know, patriotic. And we know there's a lot of uh, a lot of our wounded warriors who might not receive the attention that we would like to see them receive. We want to make sure that people understand these are young men and women who have volunteered to be in the service, and they're coming back injured. And uh, we need to give them not only some money, our monetary, we need to support them financially, but we need to give them some time. If we have a farm, or if we have a pond, or if we have a place that we can go hunting, some of these wounded soldiers that are coming back with one arm or one leg, I think our time probably means a lot more you know, than a check. So we're hoping as we go across the state to raise awareness that let's make sure that we show them every day, not just for four days at the end of March, but every day, hopefully, the six of us are much, much, much more aware because we've been reading the Wounded Warriors website and that sort of thing. And so we hope we're raising awareness as well as raising funds. We, we were uncomfortable for three or four days, but those young men and young women are going to be uncomfortable really for the rest of their lives. And it's all because they were doing things to protect our freedom, to, to allow us to come out on a beautiful Easter Sunday and do some things. And we just don't ever need to forget that. We need to make sure that everything we can do, we need to do that. We don't need to forget.